Really tonight, I'm in conversation with Desmond Roy, who was former Minister of Finance and Corporate Governance and Traditional Affairs. He joins me in his car to look at various issues, including the response to the release of uh, the contents of the State Capture Report Part 2. They're a part of the conversation tonight. What's up your questions and comments to 072-110-5584 or tweet us tonight uh, at uh, Newsroom 405. Uh, Mr. Van Droyen, good evening and thank you very much uh, for your time and joining us uh, tonight uh, here on In Focus. And thank you. I know you are traveling, you're on the road, but uh, you've taken the time to talk to us uh, tonight and uh, give us your views on a number of issues. Before we get into the conversation, I want to take you back to what uh, the president said uh, during the State of the Nation address uh, last week on the questions of the State Capture Report. Since the beginning of the year, I've been provided with the first two parts of the report of the Commission of Inquiry into State Capture headed by Acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. While the definitive conclusion has yet to be delivered at the end of this month, the first two parts of the report make it plain that there was indeed state capture. This means that, this means that public institutions and state-owned uh, enterprises were infiltrated by a criminal network intent on looting public money for private gain. The reports have detailed the devastating effects on these criminal activities on the SAA, Transnet, Denel, South African Revenue Service, and government communications. Now, state capture had a direct and very concrete negative impact on the lives of all South Africans, but especially the poorest and most vulnerable members of our society. It has weakened the ability of the state to deliver services and to meet the expectations and constitutional rights of our people. We must now do everything in our power to ensure that it never happens again. Before we get into the specifics of the part uh, that mentions you particularly in this report, but give me your response and your sense and, and, and reflection on uh, that particular statement that uh, confirms from the report the president saying uh, definitely there was an orchestrated massive operation of corruption to capture uh, South Africa's state. Uh, in the report you find that it points particularly to, to the Gupta family having played a, a role uh, in, 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 in that uh, capture of, of the state. What, what, what is your, your immediate reaction to those findings? Good evening, uh, Tavo, but also good evening to uh, your viewers at home. Uh, look, Tavo, I think uh, the, the conceptualization of uh, this state capture phenomenon mm -hmm. uh, is something that is uh, extremely debatable. And I think uh, it's, it's something that we, we, we as, as, as a country, uh, should uh, dissect appropriately. And that's why even at the beginning of this uh, commission, we made the submission that uh, the terms of reference uh, of the commission must be expanded because we believed that uh, state capture is more than uh, just focusing on the Guptas and their relationship with uh, President Zuma and those who are associated with President Zuma. So we think that uh, this matter, among other things, is a matter that should be uh, subject to a legal process uh, for, for, for further review. Because, truly speaking, uh, it is very myopic for us uh, to conclude that uh, state capture happened uh, because of what transpired in that commission. Without necessarily questioning the merits of some of the findings that have been established in the commission. Uh, but we think uh, state capture is more than that. And uh, obviously, that is something that should be subjected to a review process. So if, if, if uh, we were to, 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 to take the specifics, right, uh, on the Denial part of uh, this report, which suggests, um, if you read it, that uh, you, you were handpicked, 
by the Gupta family who you visited several times on the build-up uh, to, to, to the axing of Finance Minister Nkantanene so that you can actually get in there, your arrival timed with a letter that you needed to sign that would actually announce and appoint and put in place the Denel Asia venture. I mean, I can, I can read it word for word. It says there's evidence before the commission which makes it clear that Mr. Des Van Royen had the approval of the Guptas and was prepared to advance the agenda of the Guptas when he was appointed as Minister of Finance. Those are quite tough findings. I, I wish uh, uh, the evidence of such findings was also presented, I mean, to the public. Uh, or also was also cited in that report because the evidence that uh, was presented quite extensively in the commission and which is not reported in this uh, report is the evidence of, of how I was appointed, the tedious process that uh, President Zuma followed uh, to appoint me. That, that evidence is not presented and that's the evidence that was presented uh, at, at the commission. I, I'm not sure which evidence was presented at the commission to suggest that uh, I was handpicked by the Guptas. Because in as far as I'm concerned, uh, the evidence that was presented uh, at the commission was a hearsay by the certain Mr. Ino Kodongwan, and who, conf who confessed that uh, obviously he, he speculated uh, that uh, uh, the state capture might have happened because it happened in a certain department of minerals department. Uh, when I appeared at the commission, there was no evidence that was presented. I don't know if that evidence has been shared with yourselves, but in the report that I've read, there's no evidence. I'm still waiting for that evidence to be presented. And that's why uh, I, I've engaged my legal team. So as we, 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 we challenge this report, because in my take, I think I'm aggrieved and I'm very disappointed that a commission, uh, which was uh, chaired by uh, 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 the, the deputy uh, chief justice, the potential, a person who's got the ambition of being the, the chief justice of the country can come to such conclusions without uh, obviously touching on the evidence, extensive evidence that I presented to the commission. There was no sh a shred of evidence besides me appearing or visiting the Gupta's family that was presented in that commission. And I'm still waiting, I hope, uh, in the part three, uh, uh, the, 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 the commission under the leadership of the deputy chief justice will present that particular evidence to the public. So in, in, in your previous visit, as, as far as you are concerned, there was no planning uh, of, of, of your appointment uh, and your announcement to, 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 uh, to the position of, of finance minister. Tavo, I, I hope as a journalist you do your research. I hope you have looked into the evidence that I've presented to the commission. My evidence is very clear on what was the, my business, I mean, the, uh, with my meeting with the Guptas. And I presented extensive evidence to substantiate my submission to the commission. So I hope uh, uh, that you have laid your hands on because I'll be very disappointed for you to come and interview me here without uh, looking through the evidence that I've presented to the commission. Yeah. Let, 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 let's look then at some of, 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 of your uh, uh, evidence that you presented to, to, to the commission uh, around the appointment of... Um, uh, the, the two advisors that you arrived with uh, at, 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 at Treasury. There is uh, questions, for example, that were put to you around the verification of their credentials and, and their qualifications to, to hold that, 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 that position. This is part of the evidence that, that you presented, uh, as opposed to, to the Commission, which the Commission, you're saying, has not taken into consideration. Uh, what is it that... Um, uh, you failed to do in, in as far as you're concerned uh, uh, in, in verifying the veracity of the qualifications of those two particular gentlemen that you arrived with at, at Treasury? I, 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 I didn't fail in anything. I'm, I'm not sure why are you taking this in that I failed to verify their qualification. Because remember, the two gentlemen that are the subject of uh, this term of reference, but these are the very same two gentlemen that I, when I was uh, uh, reshuffled or moved from uh, National Treasury, I moved with to uh, uh, Cocta. And I worked with the two gentlemen at uh, Cocta. And those two gentlemen were, were confirmed by the Department of Public Administration as suitable and fit and proper 
I mean, to occupy those positions. So I'm not sure what are you referring to when you say I didn't do due diligence because the reality of the matter is that the Department of Public uh, Administration is the department that, that does that. And they did that mm. while they two were serving under my leadership at corporate department. And then it was established that they were fit and proper yeah. uh, to serve in, in government department. So I'm not sure what are you referring so, so, to. Uh, the, 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 question, the question that was, was put to you was, as, as minister, you didn't uh, care to, to check their CVs as you were taking them into, into Treasury. Do you think that is something that would have been important to do, that maybe was an oversight on your part? No, you see, Tabo, I, I'm still warning you, my brother. Uh, in West Black South Africa, please do your work. Because they don't know the matter that there was no such question that was posed to me. I, I, call, I, I mean, deliberately disclosed uh, to the commission that uh, uh, these people were highly qualified than any other person who was recruited in that position. And this is the basis of me appointing. I appointed them on the basis of merit, not on the basis of them being my friends or them being my comrades. I appointed them because they had what it takes to assist me in that uh, uh, highly uh, important ministry. That's yeah. it. It, it wasn't like I didn't do my work. Yeah. I, and there it, was no such it, a question. It, 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 it's a pity. I, 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 do, I do not have this, but it's in the public domain, Mr. Van Rooyen, that the evidence... Yeah, that's the problem. The, you guys, the, the, you guys no, listen, listen, are, listen to me. I'm saying the evidence leader did ask you, did put it to you, if you had looked at the CVs of the gentleman, particularly the chief of staff and his qualifications at the commission. That, that is a question that response? was put to you. Did your, you follow my response your, to that? Your, 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 your response was, was that at a later stage you would have done so. No, it can't be at a later stage, Tavo. Uh, shame, Tavo. It can't be at a later stage. You can't conclude on such a serious appointment without determining. I mean, those guys brought their CVs, and so it was on the basis of their CVs that I decided to appoint them. Right. You know? So you, 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 you are a victim of a course of, uh, what is this, uh, uh, the, 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 the court of public opinion. I'm not a victim, I'm not a, I'm not a victim Mr. Van Rooyen. I'm saying this is, this is something that I wish I could play for you if we actually uh, could, could put it. But it, it, it is in the public domain that this question was put to you at the commission. Yes, which question was put to me, Tabo? You, you, are, you are now rephrasing questions of the commission. But no. I'm telling you, it's me who presented to the commission that I appointed the two on the basis of merit. Right. Because I looked into their CV. When, when, when did you interview them, Mr. Fendroy? No, the, the answer is, uh, is, is all the answers are in the, my response to, to the commission. You, you don't remember now? You couldn't be, possibly be able to tell me when you interviewed them? That was, that was before I appointed them, but all the answers are uh, in the response that I provided to the commission. So yeah. please do your work now. Did, did, did you, did you in, in, meet with them in a restaurant in 2009? Is that where you interviewed them? Oh, how do I interview a person in a restaurant? Okay. What, what are you trying to say? So where, where, where were they interviewed? Tabo, look into my response. I'm pleading with you. But also, Tabo, maybe let's, let's just jump this one because truly speaking, I don't think it's, it's taking us anywhere. Okay. Let me tell you, you are not focusing on the first report. Yeah. The first report of the state capture, I must tell you now, uh, I'm very disappointed on the leadership of Deputy, uh, Deputy Chief Justice mm. because they claim that I didn't respond uh, to a, a section uh, 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 rule 3.3 uh, uh, notice. You know, Tabo, I, I, I've went an extra length to respond to all notices uh, received from the commission because I value the importance of this commission. Yes. You know, uh, I responded even to useless notices from the, the commission. Yes. You know, uh, now I ask them if they say I didn't respond to a notice, where was this notice sent? Up to today, I wrote I did several letters to my lawyers. Up to today, uh, I haven't received a response from the commission, a confirmation of where was this notice forwarded. So, where, where I'm sitting, I'm very aggrieved because I feel that the commission. Uh, really uh, 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 took an advantage of the fact that there is this public uh, opinion or there is narrative about me that I'm a corrupt or maybe I'm a state capture uh, aide, so they, they can throw anything at me, you know? Mm. So truly speaking, I'm very, very uh, aggrieved and definitely I'm going to take uh, legal action uh, in as far as this process is concerned. Because they haven't even said to me 
where was this notice forwarded? Yeah. I've asked them, and I think you must ask them the yes. same question. Yes. They yes. must provide an answer to the public. Where did they send this notice? Why are they so bold, uh, to be the uh, chief justice, the person who's ambition to be the chief justice of the country? Yeah. Why did they send this notice to come and say, I didn't respond to the notice? Okay. Why are they taking so long? It's almost a month now. They haven't responded to my request okay. to say, where was this notice forwarded? I'm going to come back and you tell us more about that, that notice and that notification when we come back from the break. With us uh, here, former finance minister and minister of cooperative governance and traditional affairs, Des Van Rooyen. Agree? Conversation with Des Van Rooyen. He's a former uh, minister of finance and cooperative governance and traditional affairs. Joins us uh, to look, of course, at the various issues, including issues that have aggrieved him coming from the state capture reports uh, that have been released so far, particularly those that... Uh, mentioned uh, his name uh, what's up your questions and your comments to zero seven two double one zero double five eight four you can tweet us tonight at newsroom four zero five so Fandron, I want to take you back to to to, to this finding and um, you're saying there is no evidence that has been given uh, to you around this particular finding one of the issues that the the Commission uh, highlights I suppose for them as, as, as bizarre is that um, your your arrival uh, at Denel coincided with a letter uh, of, of arrival, arriving on the 10th of December. Uh, that was on your desk. It, was that just a coincidence? I'm not, I'm not sure what is happening with, with your volume. It's, right. it's a bit low now. Can, can you hear uh, me? But remember when we ended the, the interview, yeah. I, I was about to explain about the findings in part of the report. I don't know yes. why you're jumping that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm coming back to your notifications, but I wanted to find out from you this particular matter that has been highlighted, if you're saying that is just pure coincidence. Sorry, Tavo. Did you, did you hear that? You know, your, your, your volume is a bit low. Right. I'm not sure what is happening. Uh, I'm going to repeat again for you. The, the, the commission is highlighting your arrival at uh, uh, Treasury coinciding with a letter. Uh, for, for, for a Denel's letter of the 10th of December 2015 on Mr. Des Van Rooyen's desk was not fortuitous. It says it was, it was well planned. Uh, you, you say the arrival of that letter uh, for the Denel Asia venture was, was just a coincidence? No, unfortunately, you are referring to a letter that uh, <laughs> I don't even know. I haven't laid my hand on that letter. And but uh, remember, uh, we, we, without even giving details on that on the subject matter, uh, if I am to because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Mm. If I'm legally uh, going to challenge uh, this report, uh, that will be a subject for 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 the legal. Report. All right, uh, Mr. Hello, Tabo, are you still there? Yes, yes, I'm still here. You're saying that that will be. This part, Tabo, that, Tabo, your volume went very low. I'm not sure what is happening that side. Uh, Maybe the, it's the, my phone. The technical, sure. team, the, te the technical team is assisting us. It will help us. Hopefully you can hear me now. I, you're saying part of what you will challenge is that thing that is being highlighted by the report that uh, your arrival coincided with a Denel letter dated the 10th uh, of uh, December 2015. Yes, because I don't even know about that letter. <laughs> I've never laid my hand on that letter. I don't know which table are they, are they referring to. A table that I use on a certain national treasury, there was no such a letter. And uh, your, your notice uh, uh, that you're saying you, you've never received, um, wh what has the response been from the uh, commission so far? You've received nothing? There's been no correspondence since you've asked? No, the only thing that we received from uh, a certain Mr. Masuku, not even the commission secretariat, is a confirmation of uh, 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 our correspondence. Uh, but uh, up to now, I mean, we are, we are almost more than a month into this matter. We haven't received any response from the, the commission. We also, write, uh, we we also wrote, uh, through my lawyers, a, a letter of demand. And that was also not entertained. Uh, we haven't received any response on that letter of demand. What, what is contained in that letter of demand? No, we are just asking for a simple thing. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the rules of uh, the proceedings of the commission provide for me as a, a, an implicated person 
uh, uh, to, to be accorded an opportunity to respond to, to any submission by the witness implicating me, but also to get even uh, the, 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 what is this, the, the letter or maybe the submission of the witness forwarded to me. And if possible, I can also appear at the commission, I mean, to cross-examine uh, uh, the witness. And I, I wasn't accorded that opportunity. And that's why I feel that uh, truly, uh, in this case, really, my rights were trampled on. Yeah. So who would you have liked to have cross-examined? Part of the testimony that was there, probably that implicated you, that I can think of, um, is, is the first meeting with the Treasury staff where you had to introduce uh, the two advisors that you had arrived with. Some of the testimony that was led at the commission was that uh, it seems on, on representation uh, you were not familiar with, with the two gentlemen. Do you, would you want to dispute that? So look into my response to uh, the commission. That, that particular response is very clear. That, uh, but also uh, I must indicate that uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, the, 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 the request on the, this notice was not on that matter. It was on the, what happened as SAA, you know. A certain Mrs. Dawa uh, came in as a witness, so he implicated me. So my, my, my concern was that that happened without me knowing, and uh, 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 the commission under the leadership of the, AD, I mean the, the Deputy Chief Justice uh, said uh, I didn't respond, and that simply suggests that if I if you don't respond to such, that simply suggests that you can care with that submission. So it's wrong because that's why I'm saying, uh, show me the proof. Where did you send this notice? Because I've responded to almost everything, and if my memory serves me well, even the the, the deputy chief justice himself praised me on how I cooperated with the commission. So I really I was so shocked and disappointed on his leadership. Let's uh, look at some of the questions then from our viewers that they have for you tonight on 072-110-5584 on WhatsApp questions uh, being sent through uh, today for the former uh, minister. Peter in of saying, Dear Tabo, please ask the former minister if he knew the Guptas on a personal level and whether he also frequented the, the Sex and World Hotel. I suppose this is, this is a question that uh, you have been asked several times and you have articulated on them in public. But uh, can you repeat it for us and for the benefit of Peter? Yes, indeed. Uh, it was not a personal relationship. I knew them on the basis of my capacity as a Treasurer General of a military veteran association. And of course, I worked with them on various projects that uh, were, were undertaken under the ban of the association uh, for the benefit of the members of the association. So that's how I knew them. Yeah. Are you at all surprised by the broad findings? I'm not saying anything specific here, but uh, the uh, general broad finding of the state capture inquiry was that the Gupta family orchestrated a massive corruption uh, uh, and state capture uh, campaign in, in the country. Are you surprised by that? Do you, do you, do you, in your interaction with them, do you think they are capable of such a criminal activity? No, I, I've never picked up that in my interaction. In fact, at some stage, we as an association requested a meeting with them after all these allegations were made about them. So truly speaking, ours, our relationship with them was not on the basis of corruption, was on the basis of a business person assisting an association. And that happened with many other business people. And when you look at, at, at some of the findings that uh, not necessarily reflect on you, but broadly at SAA, at uh, ESCOM, at, uh, uh, at all the other parts, states, Transnet as well, and the hand of, of, of this family in, in getting into the, the state institutions and, and weakening them, uh, what, what, is, what is your assessment of what was going on? Tabo, I don't think I can express my, my opinion on those things, because remember, there are individuals implicated on those matters. So I think we should just allow uh, due legal processes, I mean, to take, to take, uh, to take their course uh, before we come in and be legal experts, albeit we know that we are not legal experts. Yeah. And your, your, yourself, why would the commission want to have an adverse finding on you, particularly to the point that you are aggrieved? Why would they, uh, for lack of a better word, just pick on you out of all the people? Look, uh, 
I'm not sure. I'm not in their in their thinking. But from where I'm sitting, uh, I hope that it, it is not happening uh, because uh, they are they are they, they are responding to what I call uh, the court of public opinion, which is mainly driven by the principles of a kangaroo court. It will be very unfortunate for a ju judiciary commission not to focus on facts, but to, uh, to, to, to to dance to the tune of what is dominant in the public space. It will be very, very unfortunate. So I'm not sure exactly why all of a sudden, because all the three reports, if you look at them, they, they are trying their level best to make sure that my name comes in. Because I thought my name will only come in when we deal with the issue of how I appointed uh, the two advisors, because that was the specific term of reference in this commission's uh, terms of reference. Mr. Van Rooyen, we appreciate your time and thank you very much uh, for coming on and uh, affording us uh, this time. Uh, thank you very much. Tonight. Thank you very much, Tabo. All of the best. All right. Thank you, sir. That is the former uh, Minister of Finance and uh, Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, uh, Des Van Rooyen.